Hello and welcome to my channel. This video is going to just show you why air spins <coughs> clock uh, counterclockwise in the northern northern hemisphere and clockwise in the southern hemisphere. That's due to the Coriolis effect. It causes a counterclockwise rotation in the northern hemisphere and a clockwise rotation in the southern hemisphere. It's just due to the way the Earth spin, and they show the, the directions here. Well, as Angry Catfish Briggs has pointed out many times, and I'm going to do the same here, is here we have the Earth at the jet stream level. This is the northern hemisphere. This is the southern hemisphere. Here we have North America. So that means that all wind currents should spin counterclockwise in the northern hemisphere and clockwise in the southern hemisphere whereas you can clearly see here we have both directions in the northern hemisphere and I will show you the same in the southern we have clockwise counterclockwise counter or er, clockwise clockwise counter Let's just go around the side, keep it vertical, and counter, and that's pretty much counter, let's come on around. Alright, let's go to the southern hemisphere, where we should see clockwise spin all the time. Here we have clockwise and counter, clockwise and counter, clockwise and counter clockwise and again this is at the jet stream level where all our weather comes from the wind currents at this level affects our weather on the planet all right so here is another indicator that we've got problems on our planet and that nothing is normal anymore um, now at the highest level we have the electrical circuits for the planet as you can see in the southern hemisphere it's spinning clockwise northern is counter like it should but this circuit should die out uh, I'm surprised that it hasn't. It seems stronger than the southern hemisphere. Maybe it's the other way around. I don't remember. I'm pretty sure northern hemisphere summer is when the stronger circuit is the circuit stronger in the southern hemisphere. Uh, though it looks like it's the opposite in this case. But we're not quite to winter yet, so another month. Uh, I had pictures, but I didn't think to look look them up because I was looking over this situation. But I do know as as Earth's orbit changes, this circuit changes. One weakens, the other strengthens, and then it and then it does the opposite. And it's pretty sure it's due to which side is pointed at the sun in its position of the orbit and they, at that time one of us you know one hemisphere has summer and the other has winter or spring and fall is the transitional period between these circuits all right well <clears throat> that's uh that's this video i wanted to show you all this something that is not normal so uh, here's something else you can show your folks. Remember, knowledge overcomes fear. Laters.